The entrance is sealed. It's the photon barrier. Another invention from the court of Savante. Specific steps must be followed to undo the barrier. Rover, I'll guide you. Use long-range weapons on the photon vaults to cut off its energy. Cleave it. Once we've reached the cave's end, we'll enter the domain of Mount Firmament. Proceed with caution. So it can't hurt me. <gasps> Time on Mount Firmament used to simply flow slower than in the outside world. Visitors were safe as long as they remained within the temporal barrier. But what we're seeing now is different. The flow of time has gone haywire. This is what we call temporal disruptions. What was once slow and steady has become chaotic and turbulent. Some areas are frozen in time, while others speed up or slow down unpredictably. No one knows how much they'll age after leaving Mount Firmament. But aging from youth to old age may be a blessing compared to the unknown fate that awaits. Leaving Mount Firmament could turn any mortal to dust in just a moment. Such is the power of time within its walls. These poor creatures trapped in the temporal disruption are the most pitiful of all. Their bodies and minds have been ravaged by the chaotic time, leaving them in unimaginable suffering. So, it looks like the Fraxidus did manage to capture our Sentinel, leading to the temporal disruptions we are facing now. I had wished that my theories would turn out wrong. As expected, my terminal isn't working. We can't reach Jinshi. The temporal disruption is preventing it from functioning. We can't waste a moment. Jinshi's fate isn't the only one at stake. All the inhabitants of Mount Firmament are in danger. We need to hurry to Hongzhen. A town nestled at the heart of Mount Firmament. Jinshi would likely pass through there on her search for the Sentinel. The temporal disruptions have spared nothing on our way here. Cheng Li, does that mean you're in danger too? So far, nothing feels out of the ordinary. It seems the Sentinel contained the situation before being fully trapped. But I don't know how long the stability will hold. If I go down, please don't worry about me. You need only focus on what you have to do.
What's the matter? You dreamed of Hongzhen? It sounds like you did dream of this place. What you just described closely aligns with the accounts documented in our Grand Library. Over a century ago, a vast horde of tacit discords invaded Huang Long. Hongzhen suffered greatly during that onslaught. Thankfully, the Sentinel descended, manipulating time to erect a protective barrier, keeping those monsters at bay. Rover, perhaps that dream is more than just a dream. It could be a glimpse into your own past, and a guiding light for the future. Hongzhen is a pivotal location, linking various parts of Mount Firmament. With the Fraxidus now targeting us, they'll seize any opportunity to intercept our path. But every trap has its weak points. Someone has used their resonance ability here, but it feels... Different from the Fraxidus aggression. It's Chinchi. And it seems like she used it in a dire situation. Could it be related to the people of Hongzhen? The traces lead deeper into the heart of Hongzhen. Let's keep moving. Don't let your guard down. The trace it. Someone fought here against those Fraxidus. Must be Jinshi. Her trails led to this location. Using her resonance ability too much would only worsen her condition. But she must have had a reason. Was she helping the people of Hongzhen find refuge? Chen Li, there are traces here. They're pointing north. Let's proceed in that direction. Tear them to pieces. Psyche. The show begins. Ha! No mercy. Time to wrap it up. Down with the curtain. Traces disappear by the pun. Rover, we need to keep an eye out for anything unusual.
The vase on the stone table seems rather peculiar. There's something behind the waterfall. Let's go take a look. Another photon barrier. Three photon vaults to break. Rover, use ranged attacks. You two, halt! Hold on. Lady Xing-Yi! Relax, there are honored guests. No need to be tense. In a single day, we've greeted both the Magistrate of Jinzhou and her trusted counselor in Hongzhen. I can only assume something significant happened. It's been a while, Chang Li. I heard you step down from your position and move to the countryside. And now here we are, meeting again after all this time, in such unfortunate circumstances. For years I live secluded, no longer concerning myself with the matters beyond Hongzhen. But the current situation in Jinzhou is volatile. It has reunited us in an unpredictable moment. And you, young lady. What shall I call you? My name is Xin Yi. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Please follow me this way. It's not safe to talk here. I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. The Magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seeker's Pass now. That's what they call it in Hong Zhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. Lady Xing Yi, please elaborate. Madam Magistrate, are you...? I'm... fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much-needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. This can only mean one thing. The Sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble, and we can't waste any more time. We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after. But little did they know, we had a defense system in place built with the help of the Court of Savante. 
It was reactivated as soon as our sentinel made it back inside. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops. And we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlung chamber. To get inside Mianlung chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seeker's Pass and unseal it with the Keyforge. Understood. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Please, rest and leave it to me. The Fraxidus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I implore you, Xingyi. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will, Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of our city. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. And then she left. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? The Mianlong Chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. Do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlung Chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus' potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jing Shi. We'll distract the Fraxidus' main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. And the locals will handle the rest. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the Truth Seekers Pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. Please, leave it to us. In this place she was born, and in this place she returns. Our Magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. Did Xingyi and Jinxi know each other? Jinxi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point, including Lady Xingyi. She grew up with immense responsibilities, forced to suppress her true nature from a young age. Thinking back, and she was only a teenage girl when she became the Magistrate. She has been burdened with unimaginable weight that most cannot fathom. I assume this is the Truth Seeker's past Jin Yi mentioned. Yes. This should be another Chronos Order. It should work in similar ways with the one we saw near the Luminous Shore. The entrance is built on that cliff, and it's been blocked. We will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged attacks first. Hmm. Nothing. I was wondering, how did the Court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. 
I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Unless... the Sentinel willingly taught them. But why? We need to focus on items related to the Court of Savante in Truthseeker's Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. Photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chrono Sorter. One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chrono Sorter. Good. Did you see the Tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Perhaps we can create an opening in this disk with an explosion. One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chrono Sorter. It worked. The opening fits right onto the middle photon vault. Rover, now we can hit the... The blockade has been... Enemies ahead? I'm ready. Lifted. Let's go in. of the past. Why are there tacit discords here? No. These monsters? They don't look like the usual tacit discords. These also look like the works of the Court of Savante. Do they... Create these simulated holograms to protect this place? I've had enough. Get lost. For more. Down with the court. 
Mountain. Shadow descends. Tear them to pieces. Zap strength. It's our curtain call. Don't blink! Tranquility. You will obey. Ha! Evils be gone. Embrace the oneness. That thing up ahead, is it another mechanism? It seems to have unlocked a... The glowing patterns on that gate. It's a flare crest. Yes, the flare crests have a complex structure, but they can be deciphered with patience. See how each star represents a flare stone? That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. Yes, we still need the other two flare stones to open it. Wait, the blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. We are running out of time. Decades have passed, but those researchers... Pres the Sentinel situation is worse than we thought. It had already sustained severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So, the Sentinel protected Hongzhen with its power, but it couldn't return things back to normal? It would seem so. According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time, and if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, engulfing all of Jinzhou. <sighs> so the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Chronos Order, a man-made resonance object. No. A Chronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more Flare Stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. Another chrono 
disorder. The second flare stone should be behind this gate. Let's restore the collapsed gate with this chrono sorter. We're in this together. There is still another photon vault to break. We can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. Look at that device on the floating slab. It could help us open the path to other places. Shall we give it a try? Hmm. So it turned you into a Kleinbang. Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. Another chrono sorter. Let's give it a try. The stone slates have formed a path. Now we can bring the tacitite fulminate across the water. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault.
one last flare stone to go. There's a carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on the floor beneath us. Is that so? So this file confirms that the Kronos Orders are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. And this also answers my previous question. The Kronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. No, it was nowhere near enough. The Kronos Orders shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range, or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful, the Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a second resonance awakening. Yes, that fight has to happen to trigger a second resonance awakening for Jinshi, so she may exert even stronger resonance abilities, ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Countless Kronos orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies, but they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. One Kronos Order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Kronos Orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. No, it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. The Kronos Orders required manual control while the sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Kronos Order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the sentinel, and the sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Kronos Order thanks to that order. Rover, do you have an idea? Jinchi. Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt her. I... <coughs> but... Cheng Li... You're... Shh. I gave my word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget... Without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have her here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need her help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. But... we already owe Rover a lot. Thank you, Rover. Thank you.
Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Chenshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever, or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those Chronos Orders, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. I learned from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. We all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li, I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. She's also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. 
If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. Thank you, my teacher. Jingxi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xingyi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving.